This crew is re-roofing a shed. It's just one of the 30 projects that the church members will be working on during their visit to the Upper Valley. For Mel and Jane King, a handicap accessible ramp will be a life changer. Six years ago, things came to a screeching halt when Mel severed a tendon in his leg. His disability left him virtually homebound. The couple never imagined they'd ever see a ramp in front of their home, but their prayers were answered when the UM Army Group showed up at their door on Monday morning and started construction. It's it's just a miracle. Bills revolved around his disability, so it, it would have it was a dream, but now it's a dream come true. Nine different groups made up of 27 adults and 34 children ages 13 to 17 are spending the week helping those in need. Work is really important because we want to do that for the people, but the relationships they build with the people are, are, are even better than the work that they do. The week-long mission is making a difference for everyone involved. I've met people that um, I probably will connect up with again. 17-year-old Julia Boric is a newcomer to the volunteer organization. It's something that's like really special and important that we can all do is give back, and I love that there's a group of people that all really care about it. 21-year-old Matthew Pello has been building handicap ramps for the last eight years and says it's the people he's helping that keeps him coming back. He's stuck in his house most of the time. He's fallen quite a few times getting down the stairs, so knowing that he can walk outside any time that he wants now. For Mel, the future is looking bright. Already, he has plans. I'm going to come down on, out of the house on the ramp, and I'm going down the street. <laughs> Organizers say they have just one week to complete all of the projects, and unless it's thunder and lightning, they'll be out there working. In Claremont, Suzanne Rontree, WMUR News 9.